Does this site make you nervous? Well, stay tuned. We'll discuss how to overcome needle anxiety and how to manage fear of needles. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Gaffney from Dr. Gaffney Best Foot and I'm here to share what's helped thousands of my patients over the years. I've been a podiatrist for 29 years and today we're going to discuss how to overcome needle anxiety. It is one of the uh, most difficult things to get over and it's injections like cortisone injections are extremely helpful for foot conditions and people go from misery to joy in one office visit. So they're extremely helpful and um, there's so many people that don't go that route because they're so scared of needles but i'm going to show you what has worked for a lot of my patients over the years and there's 12 tips and we'll go through them all so um, hang with me and we'll get to them um, as always um, this is not a doctor patient relationship this is not medical advice it's for informational purposes only um, before you uh, institute treatment or um, have a condition you gotta consult your doctor so we will get into the tips so hang with me okay so tip number one for overcoming neo anxiety is make sure if you have any mental health issues like stress uh, depression anxiety that it's well managed um, it's known from studies that uh, mental conditions like uh, stress um, anxiety depression heighten your uh, pain response so make sure that that's well managed and also be in the right mindset going into it, just uh, know that it's going to help you. It's going to greatly benefit you. And it, the injection, podiatry injections usually last anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. So it's not long at all. And um, most of the time when we give injections in podiatry, it's mainly to numb a part or to give cortisone. So um, these injections do help. So try to get in that right mindset. And um, number two is try to eat and be hydrated before your injection appointment because a lot of people have come on empty stomachs or they haven't drank much and they get lightheaded afterwards to so try to eat or drink before your um, injection um, number three pre-treat with anti-inflammatories if that is okay with your doctor um, like i said podiatry injections are usually well uh, majority is cortisone injections and we use cortisone to treat inflammatory conditions. So um, the cortisone has helped a lot of people like just get over that hump of inflammation. Like they've been trying with or anti-inflammatories and other treatments for a, a period of time. And it's not working. Um, many times we have to go to that cortisone injection to really help them. Um, so sometimes uh, the part is just super inflamed. And um, before uh, the injection, so I'll have a person rest or have them um, try an oral anti-inflammatory a few days ahead of time. And what that does is it reduces the inflammation in the area that we're gonna, going to inject. And that way, um, when you get the injection, it doesn't hurt so bad that needle and that fluid pushing through all that inflammatory tissue won't hurt as bad. Because it's mainly that, um, well, it's inflamed and then it's just all tense. So if you can reduce that, number Even four is um, you can use lidocaine patches. They're over the counter, they're numbing patches. Um, there's four, there are 4% 4 lidocaine patches over the counter. Uh, they're developed for back pain, but I use them a lot in the feet. So you can cut them, um, cut little pieces, and, and put on different areas that you might be having an injection. So you, Put that on about an hour ahead of time and that'll help numb the part so you don't feel the, the needle as much there. Uh, number five, bring a loved one. So studies have shown that if you have a um, loved one with you or someone there for moral support, um, it lessens the pain. So that is very important. Many times people come alone and I have great nurses and they would help people and give them more moral support during their injection. Number three, Six, deep breathing. So it's just deep breathing in and out. And just deep breathing, slow deep breathing that gets your body into a more relaxed straight state. You go from the stressful, stressed out state to more chill state. So deep breathing. And what enhances it greatly is if you have any lavender essential oil. 
I use Young Living and, and lavender essential oil. You, you can just put a couple drops onto your um, palm and then just rub it together. Breathe in and out and you'll, you'll um, get relaxed very, very quickly. So maybe do that right before um, the injection. That will help you a lot. Um, number seven, focus on some mental imagery, like a place you'd rather be, like the beach or the mountains, something uh, beautiful. Really uh, put yourself in that location and smell the smells, feel the breeze. Um, um, that helps to get your mind out of that fearful state and put you into a nicer state. Number eight, have your clinician put you in what's called a Trendelenburg position. So that's when your head is lower than your feet. So um, it, the blood flow goes your head. Um, and that just helps you not to get lightheaded after your injection. I found that I, I used to have um, stationary chairs that didn't move up and down. They were just those generic uh, medical chairs that I couldn't really get the head lower than the feet. And then once we got what we call podiatry chairs that the, the head goes way down, the head feet can go way up, I didn't notice any, anybody fainting after uh, an injection. So the Trendelenburg position helps a lot. Just have Number your... nine, uh, have your doctor use free spray. We use free spray a lot in podiatry. I think orthopedics use it as well, but it's just this cold spray. Um, it's called ethyl chloride. So and it just comes out like a freezes your skin like like that it's like real um uh you know frosty and it numbs it so you don't feel that initial prick of the needle so that helps a lot it, some people hate the freeze spray it's more it kind of is like a distraction too but it actually does freeze the skin and numb it so you can tolerate the needle more but some patients just hate the freeze spray and, and ask not not for it to be used, but I'd say like 90% of people, it helps. Um, number 10, have your clinician put sodium bicarbonate in the um, injection uh, with the lidocaine, uh, just a little bit. And it just kind of, the sodium bicarbonate kind of um, counters the acid part of the lidocaine. So it's it takes away that burning sensation. Uh, a lot of doctors don't have sodium bicarbonate um, laying around, but hopefully your clinician does and they can put it in with your injection that helps a lot with the burning. So that that's what, when your doctor says this is going to sting and burn, um, when they push that lidocaine in there, it causes that sting and burn. Uh, number 11, uh, don't hold anything in express. If you're hurting, say, ow, or you can even, uh, my, a lot of patients curse, uh, but it just help helping you to release that and not holding it in is helpful. Um, I've uh, noticed like real like tough guys or kids are trying to hold it all in and that, that those folks I've seen sometimes pass out. So just uh, express your pain, but you don't want to get all uh, worked up. So you got to make sure you do the deep breathing ahead of time, get yourself relaxed. And as you're feeling the injection, if it's hurting, you know, yell ow. So at number 12, um, when it's all done, just take it easy getting up because if you're very, very fearful, um, you, you can get real lightheaded, you can get sweaty and hot. And so, and then you, you get up too fast, your blood pressure doesn't regulate and you get lightheaded and you pass out. So you just have the nurse bring you up slowly. Um, if you don't feel right, don't get up yet. Just sit there for a moment. I've had patients sit in the office in the in the chair like five ten minutes until they feel good to get up so and, and sometimes when you're hot and sweaty we have to lay you back down put put cloths on your head uh, like a cold cloth and that helps so i found that those 12 things has helped my patients greatly over the years um i'd say in the last 10 years of practice i haven't there's been no fainting with all this 12 uh tips and like I said, you don't want to leave out the injection just because it, uh, you have a lot of anxiety about it. It really, really helps a lot of conditions. It'll make you feel so much better. So I hope this helps you. And please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll keep trying to give you some more good information. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.